yeah, 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 this, that, this, that shit that hit your soul, that hit your I said, now this, that, this, that shit that hit your soul, that hit your soul Today I woke up feeling like the man Hi, welcome back. I'm doing another video on Oracle cards. Um, I know it's a little bit late, but I was having some low health days last weekend and the past week so I want to focus on resting and making sure that I was feeling well enough to give you guys a really good video so you guys voted and Oracle cards won and I was very excited to see that because I know there are a lot of misconceptions um, about what Oracle and tarot cards are and this video is just going to basically talk about my journey with a specific deck that I love and how I got into Oracle and what Oracle um, means to me and basically what it is and if you have any questions you always know you could just hit me up on Instagram um, in my YouTube comments or you could just message me privately so Oracle decks and tarot decks are different um, in the respect that Oracle decks have no rules um, tarot cards have every deck usually has 78 and they're broken up into two major sections, the minor and major arcana. And those cards have specific meanings and messages um, that you can use to provide clarity and insight. Oracle cards, on the other hand, come in many different flavors, as I would say. So I have a few of my decks here with me, some of my faves. And each one of these Oracle decks have different sets of cards with different sets of meanings in them. So unlike the tarot cards i have the morgan greer and i also have the um santa Murte deck i probably butchered that because i'm not very good in spanish but these are both tarot cards and although they may have different themes um they both carry the same meaning for the pinnacles and the wands and things like that the reason why Oracle um, stands out to me the most, and I use it a lot in my own spiritual practices, and also uh, with the light work that I do with others to assist them with getting free, um, is they allow you to have clarity and guidance through intuition and earthly messages from your spirit guides and higher self. So you use your intuition, your connection with your ancestors, spirit guides, and your higher self to look at the cards, and I will pull a card out. So look at the cards and um, use the imagery, use the, you know, the messages at the bottom um, to provide you with clarity and insight on anything that you need insight on. Um, a lot of people think that these cards are demonic. They are not demonic. If you actually think about what tarot and oracle cards are used for, you will know that tarot and oracle are used as tools to provide um, clarity, insight, and guidance. That's what they are used for. They are not used to entice you to worship the devil or bring demonic spirits into the room. Like That's not what the cards are used for or to be used for. A lot of the images and rhetoric that we see in society, on television, even on one of my favorite movies, Carmen Hip Hopper with Beyonce, um, you see that they use tarot, psychics, um, people who wear crystals, whatever, woo-woo people as a way to scare others. And that's really just rooted in fear um, and is really based on the thoughts and beliefs of those in certain religions. So I would advise you to really um, talk to an oracle reader or a tarot reader or someone who does crystal heal healing. Hell, you can talk to me and we can kind of talk about your misconceptions or the things that you've been taught in your life and your experiences with tarot and oracle and hopefully I can assist you with being more comfortable with it um, a lot of the people that I've done readings for um, have never got readings done before or they have and they've had a bad experience um, and I've been able to turn a lot of them into believers which is great because I feel like oracle is a very um, fulfilling tool and I feel like it can be really used to help us um, get rid of some of the programming and the traumas that we have um, from our childhood so on and so forth another thing about Oracle that I think is important to talk about is that 
you don't necessarily have to do readings for other people in order to utilize the oracle cards so i'm going to go into my journey really quickly about oracle cards and how i got into it my therapist recommended it to me a few years ago and i went out and i bought this deck the goddess deck and i got this deck the crystal deck and what i did for about I want to say it was six months before I got another deck. I woke up every morning and I would meditate and then I would pull a card from each deck and I would journal on it. And basically what I would ask the decks are, what themes should I pay attention to today? Or I would ask them, what should my focus be for today? And I would pull a card and I would write on them. And every day I would journal on these cards until I built, built up the confidence to use another deck. And it provided me with a lot of clarity and insight. And also gave me kind of like a blueprint for my day. Something that I could go back and think about. So if I pulled a specific card, I would say, okay, so I need to kind of keep this same energy as I go throughout my day. As I became more and more comfortable with tarot, I started to practice on those that are close to me. So my husband and some of my closest friends who were very open-minded and I realized that I had a gift. So I began to utilize my gifts for free and I started to do readings for other people and I found that I was fulfilled with the joy of assisting people with gaining clarity and insight on things and I realized that a lot of the messages that I was receiving um, were really helping people get free so from then on I started doing more readings then I took a hiatus because I really wanted to build up my self-protection to make sure that I was protected from any psychic attacks or foolishness because you know you're reading for people you may not know them you don't know what type of energy they're bringing into the space um, and then I got back into reading again and I started charging for it and I realized that people really value my service and what I do. So I really wanted to do a quick video on Oracle cards because I want you guys to understand that Oracle cards have not only helped me transform my own life and gain a lot of clarity and insight and just provide me with some really, really good information. It's also been able to help other people in my lives. In my life that I know so I think it's really beneficial that if you've never had an Oracle reading or you've never even looked at Oracle cards for you to do a little research maybe buy yourself a deck and start off how I did um, just pull a card every day and journal on it you'll see how beneficial it is to your life it's just like waking up and saying affirmations in the morning it's just like you know reading um, a passage from a book or a Bible or a devotional or whatever it may be you can add this into your day-to-day -day routine um, and you don't have to look at it as some type of scary tool when in reality they're just cards with pictures on them that's what they are they're cards with pictures and messages on them that allow you to elevate and vibrate higher so I hope that video was um, informational if you have any more questions please feel free to reach out to me i know i wasn't able to actually pull cards on video and stuff like that but if you're interested in any of the more any more information or if you would like a reading from me or if you would like me to refer you to someone else um i definitely have like a gang of people who i've gotten readings from and people that i trust and i think that are very good for those who are interested in getting um into oracle and tarot uh as always Thank you for allowing me to be a reflection of your light. I hope you guys have a beautiful week. And I also want you guys to post this video everywhere. Subscribe on YouTube. You are light. Follow me on Instagram at Kaylin Coghill. And just keep pushing this video around. I would love to get more people into Oracle and Tarot and really get people to open up their minds. Bye.